Hello guys, it's me Anil. Today we are going to see how to download and install SQL Server and SQL Server Management Studio. So first of all open your Chrome and search for SQL Server. Open the official website of Microsoft. Here you will get two options for SQL Server that is one developer and the second one Express. So we are going to download the Express one. Click on download now. Now double click on the file. Yeah, three ins installation type is there basic custom download media i will choose custom because can be uh, depend uh, where you have to place the location of uh, for that so i'm leaving it default click install now it will download the packages which is required to install It will take some time, depend upon your Wi-Fi speed. Now we have come to this uh, tab, first one is planning, second one installation. Now we need to install it right. So just click on this new SQL Server standalone installation. Click on I accept the license terms and privacy statement. Click on next. Click on next. Here it will install the set of files. While downloading the packages, it has been downloaded the set of files and extract the set of files also. Now it's installing the set of files. So that's why it's a progress and these both are skipped. Now you can see here all the status has passed but this uh, windows firewall is warning but didn't matter so just moving forward click on next now select here what the instant features you want so i will be deselecting this machine learning And letting same as it is the default one so it will create an instance through directory here they have this location or you can change the location also now click on next
here it will take the name instance sql express okay click on next Let it the default one here. Click on next. Now here you have to choose the authentication mode. The first one is Windows authentication mode. The second one is mix mode. In the mix mode, SQL Server authentication and the Windows authentication both are there. So we are going to use this mix mode so for that we have to provide the password the user id for the administrator is the sa and we need to give the password now here uh, the current username will come here if it's not come here you can you have to click on add current user it will going to add the current user here now click on next <clears throat> now here it will take some time for the installation Now let it be uh, it install here. So after that we need to download the SQL Server Management Studio. First of all we have download the SQL Server. Now we need to download the SQL Server Management Studio. Open the first link. Here you will find for downloading the SQL Server Management Studio. Click on it. The latest version is 18.6. Here it will take some time for downloading depending upon your Wi Fi speed. I am pausing this as because I have downloaded, already downloaded this file. Here. So first let it complete the installation part of the SQL Server then after that if it is successful then we need to install the SQL Server Management Studio. So our installation has been completed. You can see here all the status is succeeded. Okay. Now click on close. So now we need to install the SQL Server Management Studio. I have already downloaded that file. If you didn't have, just click on this and it will go to start it download. So just I will click on the file give it permission yes now choose the location where you want I am letting it the default location to install click on install the 
latest version of SQL Server Management Studio is 18.6 and the latest version for the SQL Server is 2019 so first of all we have installed the SQL Server 2019 and now we are going to install the Microsoft SQL Server Management Studio with version 18.6 So our installation has been completed, click on close, now search for SQL Server Management Studio, Here you can find the SQL Server Management Studio, click on, click on it, Here you will find the so instant server name click on here okay so this is your server name okay now click on connect so here your database has been appeared there is a system database that is the master model msdb and tempdb databases so our SQL Server Management Studio has been installed successfully. You can find the versions of it. Click on new query. you will find the Microsoft SQL Server 2019 thank you for watching